Hey, I'd like to go over the account summary dashboard feature of Georgia's budget for Excel, which is personal budgeting software. Um, right now we're in the account summary, and this is going to be the first sheet um, that you see when you open up the um, software program. And basically, the it's going to provide you with some key information um, about your accounts. Um, and it's going to gather that information from really two different sources. Um, the first one um, is the registers. Um, and let's take a look at one of those registers here. Uh, let's look up top here. There's the checking account number one. Um, and let's go ahead to that register. And this is um, similar to maybe a checkbook register that you may have kept on paper um, in the past um, with one key exception and that there's an extra field called the category field. Um, and basically what you're going to do is you're going to assign each transaction to a category um, so that you can keep track of how much you're spending in that category um, for a particular period of time. Um, one also nice feature that I want to touch on about the registers is that you're able to split transactions. Um, let me go ahead and highlight this group of transactions here. Um, and you can see that they've been assigned group number seven, and that's the split group um, transaction number that the program automatically assigns to them. And in this example, um, it looks like um, we went to Walmart and spent $130. And below that are the split itemizations, the breakdown of that $130. Um, 90 was spent on groceries, 30 was spent on personal care products, and $10 was spent on pet care. Um, if you notice, these are entered as negatives because they're outflows. Um, and also, I use a single column um, for amounts. Um, so splitting transactions is important because, um, for example, when you go to a place like Walmart, you don't always spend it on all on one category like groceries. You usually spend it on various categories. So if you really want to keep track of um, how you're spending your money, you really need to be able to split transactions. Um, also, what's nice, um, along with assigning a number uh, to the split group, um, it also lets you know, um, helps you add up the split itemizations to make sure that they balance. So in this case, these split itemizations here need to add up to negative 130. So if I were to change this one here to zero, um, you're going to right away the program lets me know that split itemization is off by negative 10. So I still need negative $10 to get this to balance. I only have um, negative 120. So let's go ahead and change that back to negative 10 and it balances out. Okay, so the next uh, split transaction will be assigned number eight. Okay, so that's a nice feature about the registers that I just want to touch on. Let's go back to the account summary um, and the other source that um, is gathered, um, information that is gathered from, um, is the category list and budget sheet. Okay, so let's go ahead to that sheet. And here you're going to create your own income categories, expense categories. Um, and you're also going to set a budget for those categories. Okay, um, and up top here is the summary amounts for the month. Okay, but if I scroll down, um, you'll see the expense categories below here. Okay, so these are the different categories and the budgets that you set for them. So it's like a budget worksheet, um, but it's also going to be used to compare the actual amounts that you enter in the registers to these budget amounts so that you can see how you're doing in terms of your spending. All right, I'm going to go back to the account summary. And um, so those are the two sources that it's gathering information from. Now, um, let's take a look at the first part of this account summary dashboard um, up top here. Basically, this is a listing of the different accounts that you have entered into the program, uh, their register balances, also the different account types, whether they're cash account types or, or debt account types, um, and then subtotals for each of those different account types. Um, over here, there's goal setting. Um, and let's take a look, for example, let's take a look once again at that checking account number one, which has a balance of $3,475. Um, the lowest limit has been set to zero. You don't want to go below that. Um, and the goal to reach in that account has been set to 15000 So 
in this case, you're 23.2% um, on your way to that goal. Um, you can change that goal, and then let's go ahead and change that from 10,000 to, excuse me, from 15,000 to 10,000. I'm going to click OK, and you notice that the percentage has now changed. You're now 34.8% on, uh, on the way to your goal there. And that's also helpful with the debt accounts too. You, in the debt accounts, these credit card accounts, your goal is to reach zero. Um, and so it's really helpful to see that visually, to see, um, to have that goal and to try to reach that goal in terms of different balances in your registers. Um, below that, there's the expense categories to watch here. And what you can do is set five top um, expense categories that you want to uh, view here. Um, and usually these are types of accounts that that will change during the month. We're not talking about, for example, a mortgage payment um, that is fixed every month. There's not much really you can do about that unless you change your mortgage or move or refinance. But these type of accounts like restaurants and dining, groceries, entertainment, you can adjust your spending as you go through the month. And so that's the idea of this particular report here. Um, you can set the items right here. You can pick a different category, and these come from your category list. Um, I've already set these. Let's take a look at the first one, restaurants and dining. The actual amount is gathered from the different from the registers, and the period of time we're talking about here is um, this month of August, which is the month that I recorded this. Um, that is the current month. Um, so, so far we spent $80 on restaurants and dining. And then we set a budget of $120, so we still have $40 available. So the percent of that budget that we've used in that particular category is 66.7%. Now it's red, and the reason being, let's take a look at this last row here. Um, the date, uh, today's date um, for purposes of this recording was 8-20-2009. Um, that, that means that we've used about two-thirds of um, the month has been um, two-thirds of the month has passed okay so that means we should be about two-thirds of the way of our spending in these types of categories so it helps you kind of gauge spending to date so in this case we just went past that but that's that's good because we're not way past it we're basically that's what you want to be close to Okay, so that's the idea of the last gra um, bar here, this orange one, that's spending to date. Okay, so for example, if you're halfway through the month, you kind of want to be halfway through these particular items. All right, um, there's also these last six month mini charts here that basically provide you with um, trends. So as you look at this first one, restaurants and dining, you can see that you were trending up. So that might be one that you might want to take a more closer look at. And there's a way to do that. Um, and I'll show you how in just a minute. Also, if you want to see all the categories, you're just going to click right here, see all the categories. And you can run a report um, because you probably have more than five categories that you spent on during the month. So you want to see all the categories for the month of August 2009. I just clicked right there. And there's a graph for all the categories, um, budget compared to actual. And I can go to the actual report and see actual budgeted in the difference. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the account summary. I'm going to scroll down. There's also the yearly income statement, monthly income statement. Um, there's this year, last year, this month, and last month. These are also clickable also. So if I want to see all of August 2009, and I want to see how did we come up with $3,500 of income? How did we come up with $1,925 of expenses? I could see the breakdown of those items right here. Okay, so I can see what makes up those totals. I'm going to go back to the account summary. And also you pro there's a graph provided for the different um, income statements. And also there's a single category report. And we can look up restaurants and dining. Remember I said that we, there's a trend up. So we can also look at that particular item, run reports on that right here from the account summary. And we'll see what's happening with restaurants and dining. Um, we can actually see the actual amounts. So here's the graph up and see the months. And then we can see the actual amounts here. And there's also a detailed report where we can see specifically how much we spent, when we spent it, and where we spent it. 
Okay, so I'm going to go back to the account summary. So that's a quick overview of the account summary dashboard feature of Georgia's budget for Excel.